Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time! In this episode! Well, we're actually back to the regular recordings, if, in case you're wondering, and I showed you the stats last time, so... Everything's all set, we're here at the top of the tower, it is time to enter, I'm like debating whether or not I want to save right now. I'm like, gotta save, gotta save up, gotta heal up, because this is it! This is the final part of, well not the final part, but this is the final area of Partners in Time! It's time to fight the shroobs, reclaim our country, and hey, it's Princess Peach! What are you doing up here? Oh, well, you've been captured by the shroobs, obviously, that's why you're doing it up here. What the heck are you talking about, Lucky? You're ruining it from the freaking final sections of the game. Peach goes over to Mario, Luigi he's like, hey, pay attention to me! Peach is like, no, you're green, you're thin, your nose looks weird, no one cares. Even the babies don't follow him. Baby Luigi gets off Luigi's like, I'm sticking of you guys. You guys are cooler. So poor Luigi gets no love, unfortunately. So, we gave a little conversation. Unfortunately, Princess Peach is stuck in this creepy energy field that even Baby Mario's Bam Bam Hammer can't break through. I know, right? Like, his hammer breaks through everything. That's incredible. It's hammer-proof. Nothing's hammer-proof, apparently. Hammer's like the opposite of duct tape. They just destroy everything. Uh, anyway, so we have all five uh, Cobalt Star Shards, and it's all good, but Peach seems pretty shocked about that. Luigi's like, hey, you're coming over here, yay! Even though she looks horrified, I mean, if you're going close to Luigi, I guess he would be horrified. Okay, no, 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 I can't hate Luigi. Luigi's too cool to be hated on. Don't be hating on Luigi, oh my god, we're being shot. That's right, the Shroobs decided to basically trap them in their own statue. Princess Shroobs is destroying her own statue because she's just that desperate to kill us. I don't know, you'd think of her as a sort of vain boss. She'd be like, not my statue! Don't hurt my statue! But nope, she's just like, screw it, we're gonna destroy everything. She drinks a little. I don't even know what she. I don't even want to know what she's drinking. She's drinking. She's probably drinking like toad juice. She probably looked like a toad, and the toad's like, no! And then they drained of all his juice, and now she's drinking it. Which. She's a vampire. She's a toad vampire. There we go. She's an alien toad vampire zombie. Frankenstein. I don't know. We'll just go with that. It makes her sound more epic or more lame. Take your pick. So the babies are like, okay, well, we gotta go. Well, Stuffles like, okay, we gotta stop this troop saucer. Baby Mario's like, no, we gotta free the princess. See, even at a young age, Mario was just desperate to get girls' attentions, apparently. I mean, what? Anyway, we're gonna continue onward. Uh, nothing really special in this room. I'm gonna quickly uh, do a run around just to make sure there's no beans or anything. I don't know why there'd be beans at this point. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, beans at the point. Well, there would, it would be ridiculous. Why would you have beans past the point of no return? We are past the point of no return, guys. Except it's the past of point of no return. It's like the point of no return for a while, but you'll still can return at some point. Um, they do actually have a save point right here past the point of no return, though, so... If you have nothing better to do, you might as well save here. I mean, there's really no reason to, though, so... It's not like we we, we just save like two seconds ago for cutscene. Well, I guess the save point's useful for one thing, but... Anyways, you'll see what I mean by how this is actually not the point of no return in a little bit. Uh, but here we are. This looks kind of familiar. That's right. All that UFO mechanics. What, you thought we were done with that? No. We're going back to the skies again. We are fighting more UFOs. Alright. We are fighting the mothership. Epic boss battle. Epic final boss battle. Part 1. Commence. The mothership. As we fight with... I don't even know what the heck our ship's supposed to look like. It looks like... It looks like a freaking Baba Fett mask with, like, stuff sticking out of it there. Kind of weird. Doesn't look like a UFO at all. I guess it's supposed to be like Princess Pe or Princess Shroob's like head or something like that. So we're battling the Mother Shroob with her head, which is kind of weird. Basically, as you can see, a uh, shot to it will not do any damage. Uh, the, the UFOs will actually uh, try to ram into you. Uh, your he you have a little health bar above them. Every time you take, every time you or uh, Princess Shroob takes a hit, you basically will lose health. Um, the only way you can hurt her though is by basically using her own UFOs. So you have to actually hit the UFO and make the UFOs crash into her. And that is the only way you can damage her, so just like that. So there we go. Basically, it's a race to see who can do four hits first. Us or them. Obviously, if we get hit, we crash and die, it'll be game over. So this is not time to fool around. And this is a tough fight, though. It's kind of hard to hit this accurately, but as long as you can get a hit in, uh, the, shoots, the UFOs will stop rushing at you at least, so you can get a little reprieve there. She has a couple patterns. She can either drop three off at once, or she'll drop ones that instantly move like this. And unfortunately, we get hit, so... Its score is now 3-2, to two. us, we're still in the lead, oh my god, that one's going fast. Uh, luckily it's stopping right in front of us, I don't know why, the troops can be like, okay, we're gonna ram you. And again, so many kamikaze troops here, they're just, they're sacrificing their life for their leader at this point. So, look at, I mean, that, that troop just died. Those troops have family, come on. You're, you're ruining their families, they're all gonna be, they're gonna be all sad, oh crap, this is bad. Um, no, 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 ooh, okay, the score is 1-2. to two. I might die here. Yeah, well, there we go. One to one. Next hit wins. Oh my god, this is so close and intense. Oh, well, she's dead. That was anticlimactic. 
And yeah, pretty quick boss fight. I mean, it is kind of tricky. I don't like the UFO fighting mechanics. It's really awkward to use, especially in that boss fight where things are just like... When you, you, I mean, you can only move upwards and you hit the fire before you move downwards and then you move all the way down. It's just really hard to control the UFO. They could have made it a little better, but we still won. That's all that's important. I guess it's like, we're like in Princess Shroob's brain. I don't even know. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. It's just weird. Um, but the, the UFO crashes into the statue. Some of the statue still stays intact. I mean, you think a giant UFO would just knock the whole thing down, but nope, we're perfectly fine. Didn't she crash into Princess Peach's room? Did we just kill Princess Peach? Please don't let me kill Princess Peach. Oh, nope, she's perfectly fine. you think once the barrier was down, she'd start running away, but no, she's like, oh, well, barrier's down. I'm just gonna sit here. I like this throne. This throne's nice and comfy. Hey, there's the UFO there. Interesting. Whoa, door opened. Um... Uh, guys, you guys might want to back up. Then again, all the shrews probably died in impact, right? Yeah, clearly we just killed Princess Shroob. Clearly she just died in the accident. We'll just labor her as a traffic accident. I'm sorry, I didn't see you flying there. See, guys, this is what happens when you... Dr oh, see, clearly what she was drinking before was alcohol. And this is why you should never drive drunk, guys. Do not drive your UFOs while intoxicated by toad fluids. I don't know. I don't ever want to say that phrase ever again. But oh my god, there's a survivor. And of course the survivor is going to be... Princess Shroom. What, you thought we would have to go through this game by having a boss fight with her? Of course not. It's time. The leader of the Shrooms is here. She's pissed off. Peach is not... Oh, okay, Peach was always useless. I don't even know why I never realized that before. Hey, don't interrupt Mario. That's rude. Oh no, she's angry. Well, it's time for the final boss of the game. I mean, look at this. This sounds like final boss music. I don't know about you. But anyway, what you first notice is she actually has a barrier. Um, doesn't really show up, I guess, on my recording software, as you can see. Oops, that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, stuff that flickers like that does not really uh, work very well, so... I guess the, uh, sh the, the shield can be a little awkward during this fight, but... Oh well, it's not really much I can do about the way I record things. Flickering stuff, not the kind of thing to recording software. But anyway, so what basically we have to do is you have to basically hit her repeatedly in order to break the little barrier. As you can see, eventually it'll start changing colors. Um, and breaks. So just hit it multiple times, and the best way to do that, obviously, is your Broid Ups. It's turned green now, as you can see. It's supposed to be flickering green, but whatever. Um, it's going to basically turn yellow, and then uh, red, or orange, and red. It's basically just going to go all the way down the rainbow. She has a rainbow shield here, and eventually it'll break. Well, actually, it's already broken by now, uh, but just gives me hits as possible, possible with your Broid Ups, your trampolines, your hammer. Obviously, as you can see, as she's like this, she's like actually uh, treated as a flying enemy, so hammer stuff won't work very well. Or any sort of ground items, so your red shells will not work either. But once you do that enough, uh, the shield will break, and she'll crash to the ground, and she'll fight you normally. And she's actually pretty hard on the ground, but it's only, the only way to hurt her is when she's actually on the ground like this. So, she, um, as you can see, when she's in her chair, she has a couple attacks. She actually fights you for a throne. That's pretty epic. I don't know about you, but I want, like, a boss that fights you for a throne. Pretty awesome. Also, I love the music for this. Um, this is where you can really tell the people who wrote the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack wrote this one as well, because this is a very, very Kingdom Hearts soundtracky sort of thing. Uh, so we saw one for the attacks on her throne with the lasers. Basically, you just, have to, just have to see where she's aiming, and uh, either and jump with the bro, jump with any bro that's pointing downward. Also, Princess Shroob is is actually immune to ice flowers, so I'm trying to get a, a defense, a, a, some sort of defense drop on her here. Doesn't work very well, unfortunately. Now this attack, this attack is annoying as heck. She'll just basically combo a bunch of laser blasts at her until you can reflect one back at her with your your hammer, which only happens if you're above her. Um, Obviously, if she appears in front of her bro, she'll hit uh, the bro that she's appeared next to. If she uh, appears in the middle, she'll use like a wave attack to hit both of them. If she appears above, if she's on the top of the screen, she'll go after Mario. If she's on the bottom of the top screen, she'll go after Luigi. So that's how you sort of predict her motions there. But she goes by really fast and crazy. Uh, the other attack we saw from her was that little star thing. It'll basically keep going until it either hits you or you jump on top of it. So her attacks are pretty uh, tough in this level. I mean, they're not very easy. Also, those energy beams from her other ones, I'm not sure it's demonstrated in this fight or not, but they will actually poison you as well on occasion, so be really careful. And we're just going to hit here now with every freaking bro item we can basically rely on. I mean, it's a long fight. This is the freaking final boss. I mean, yes, I mean, she is the leader of the army, right? Has to be the final boss. Surely has to be the final boss. Um, but yeah, pocket chomps, freaking copy flowers, just hit everything you have. Just don't hold anything back at this point. We're past the point of no return. We have plenty of items, just... Hit hero with everything you got, which I just said like ten times already, but whatever. Um, I mean, what else am I gonna say during a freaking pocket chop segment? Love this bro item, but boy, does it take forever to actually, you know, finish this attack. It's like the longest freaking bro item in the world. 
Um, which is probably why I never returned into this game, unfortunately. But, yeah. So, we're just gonna keep nailing her with hammers and bouncing babies, and... She's pretty tough for a princess. I mean, you, you compare, like, Princess Peach, and boy, the Shrooms got lucky. I mean, I'd take Princess Shrew over Princess Peach any day. Sure, Princess Peach might be a little hotter, but... She just sucks at everything, apparently. Except for Smash Brothers. I have to admit, I did main uh, Princess Peach in Melee. Anyway, so she... Her freaking... Throne turns into a spider-like thing, and she'll basically hit a bunch of she shoot a bunch of lasers. Uh, just hit them when just jump whenever they hit the ground, um, and then she'll try to basically flatten the bro. If she laughs, she will pause in the middle of that, so be careful of that. Otherwise, um, just base um, if she doesn't laugh, she'll go straight down though. So look out for the laugh. It's sort of her indication, just like Bowser kind of, that she's going to do a little fake out like that. So keep that in mind. Anyway, so another way we'll uh, go ahead and use trampolines here to destroy her thing. I mean, might as well save the copy flowers for actually damaging her, because we do more damage to copy flowers than anything else, really. So, uh, yellow is orange, it's red. Also, I guess trampolines are a little bit better for one big reason, that is, if, um, unlike copy flowers, where if you screw up, you're done the attack completely, whenever you screw up trampolines, you actually get three more attacks after that, which is kind of useful, because it means, you know, this, for this boss, it doesn't go by damage, it goes by the number of times you hit it. So, those extra three hits, like, just right, like, right there, could make the difference between her shield breaking and her shield staying alive, so... Keep that in mind, it's pretty, um... So trampoline's actually probably the weapon of choice to use against those shields, in a way. So I guess trampoline's finally got their chance to shine over copy flowers, which is pretty much a first. Because copy flowers just continue to wreck her. See, the combination of, um, the Lucky Badge A, like, every time Baby Luigi lands is a lucky hit, which is just amazing. It means basically Baby Lu Luigi does as much damage half the time as the regular Mario Brothers do, and that's just amazing. I mean, look at this, it's like freaking 537 without any sort of defense drop or anything. That's just an incredible amount of damage. Here I just fail. Now she turns red. This means she's going to be doing multiple attacks at once here, which is just nuts because her attack, this attack, if she does this multiple times, she can just rack up so many, much damage because it's not easy to reflect her balls back at her. That sounded so wrong. Yes, reflect her balls back at her. That works. Because she just keeps on firing. She just does not stop. And... It's just racking up the damage really fast. Finally, nope, not, nope, didn't even get it there. I thought for there, sure, I'd counter there, but nope. Okay, well, eventually she does stop, but she still gets more, she gets like two or three attacks at this point, because, well, I mean, this is the end game boss. You have to actually have some sort of, uh, tough section. Well, I'm gonna actually, uh, am I gonna heal up the, uh, Mario? Yeah, let's heal Mario. He's looking at pretty grim here. He's actually poisoned. So there we go, uh, proof that it does poison. Now, the nice thing about poison almost, though, is it does change Mario's color, so it actually makes copy flowers a little easier because it's easier to tell which one's Mario than over baby Mario. Because, I mean, they're both red. I mean, it depends if you're going, I mean, if you go for size, obviously it doesn't make a difference, but if you go for color, like, it just really helps you distinguish Mario from baby Mario. I mean, it's kind of weird to say that you're confusing a human with a baby, but, or, or, or an adult with a baby, but, you know, it's still possible. So, yeah, multiple attacks here, which is just, well, like I said before, I don't know if I've mentioned this episode yet already, but uh, this game is pretty much designed around... It, it has to factor around the fact that you know, once uh, Mario dies, you know, Baby Mario still takes his place afterwards, so... These multiple attacks are basically designed to finish off both your bros and your babies with, like, a, an attack spree. Which, luckily, we have enough defense where we don't have to worry about that, but even then, just multiple attacks at once just take up a lot of time and they take up a lot of damage really can rack up, so that makes her a really challenging, really fun boss, actually, though. I do love dodging that attack. It's intense, it's crazy, you don't know where she's gonna appear next. She's just basically, like, comboing you to oblivion here. She'd be a fun character to fight, like, using, like, a fighting game with all her, like, energy lasers. That's right, Princess Shroob for Smash Brothers Brawl 2, or Smash Brothers Wii U, whatever the hell they're gonna call it. Obviously, they're not gonna call it Brawl 2, that'd be stupid. They haven't done that before, ever, so... Um, we'll just keep racking up damage here. I mean, at this point, I'm just gonna stick mostly to the copy flowers. We've shown off all our attacks. We just wanna finish. Well, okay, we'll do other stuff too, because I don't like. I like having variety. I don't like using copy flowers over and over again. It gets boring. I like having new stuff to do, like pocket chumps. See, so yeah, once she turns red, things just go crazy. I love her theme music, though. Just listen to this music for a little bit. Enjoy this music while you enjoy the soothing sounds of a chomp destroying Princess Shrew. I love how the chomp just passes her by, like, whatever. Don't really feel like hurting you, but it's just... They're basically just, like, abusing some chomp, being like, come chase me, it's like a bull and, like, the little red cloth thing, and... I don't know, the chomp... They, they, you think they try to make, like, the chomp, like, attack her instead? They'd probably do a lot more damage than like, a couple bops to the head and some hammers would. I don't know. Just a thought. Uh, no, 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 uh, there we go, I'm gone. Anyway. Uh, 317 damage, I mean, I'm still doing a pretty decent amount of damage. Actually, I'm actually doing a lot of damage, I mean... Before I was doing about 100, 200 with uh, pocket chomps and stuff like that. Now I'm doing like over like 
I'm doing over 300 damage without any sort of defense drops, and with Poppy Flutters, I'm doing like 500 damage, which is pretty incredible. I think she just goes down normally this time, yes. Yeah, so she just goes down normally, so that takes care of that, and, um... Oh, she's going for another round, that's right. Even when she's on her throne, she'll be doing multiple attacks when she's red and glowing like that. So, here comes the crazy spider throne again. I have to admit, I do love the crazy spider throne, it is pretty cool. I, w I want a throne that can turn to a giant three-legged spider that can crush my enemies with lasers and stuff like that. Then again, I mean, if she's above you like that, why don't you just, like, throw a mixed flower up there? Like, hey, you're above me. Mixed flower, bye. I don't know. Then again, that breaks the rules of RPGs. Now, um, I'm actually trying a different strategy here. I'm like, you know what? Let's give some bro flowers some love. Last time we are like, oh, you'd never use bro flowers again, and I aim to change that. Unfortunately, um, it does take... I, I was like, you know, okay, if it's per hit, well, it will do that. But unfortunately, uh, for, I think, the flowers, it does do uh, less hit. I mean, it takes more hits to actually cause an actual hit of damage or something like that, so... Bro flowers are not very useful at breaking the shield. I uh, just thought I'd demonstrate that just to... In case it was more efficient, because I, I want to show you guys the best possible methods to defeating her, and that's not a good one, obviously, so... Um, luckily, once again, with trampolines, you'll get those extra three hits. That should be enough to finish off her shield. Hopefully for the last time. I don't know, this boss play is dragging for quite a while here. Oh, then here she goes for laser spas, or her laser spam. Well, it's not really laser spam. She's like shooting energy balls at us. And Luigi's going for that one. There we go. That's it. At least when she does that, you can actually counterattack and do damage to her. I mean, every little bit of damage counts, I suppose. Oh, there's another hit. And look at this. She just did not stop attacking. Just crazy, crazy spree of attacks here. She's still going. She's still going. This is four attacks in a row now. My goodness. Calm the hell down. Then again, she's taking like about like 80 damage here from doing this, so I guess that works in our favor in the way, in a way. But anyway, copy flowers for victory here. Let's go for it. I'm feeling it's close. It's close. Oh my god, that's three lucky hits in a row. So many lucky hits now. Amazing. Look at this. Baby Luigi just lucky hits everywhere. Oh, well, that was Mario that time. Look at lucky. This is just lucky. Did you get like seven lucky hits? Come on. Seven lucky hits. That has to be. I think that was seven. Was that seven? I don't know. Lucky seven. I'm trying to make some sort of pun here. Sort of failing at it. Oh well. That's the end of Princess Shroob. No experience. Well, that means we probably just beat the game, didn't we? we defeated the Shroob army. Their leader's dead. We've conquered the world. She looks pretty. She looks in pretty bad shape. No, finish her up. Wait. Cobalt Star. Did you go ahead of us? How'd you get behind us? Weird. What are you doing here? You're incomplete anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Let's just take it home and... wait. Uh, why are you going to Princess Peach? Oh my god, it's a stalker pervert star. Run away, guys. That's right, the final boss is a stalker pervert star. Not really, but Princess Peach happens to have the final piece of the shard. I guess it's kind of expected. I mean, she is the one who had the Cobalt Star shard to begin with. Or the Cobalt okay. Star to begin with, so... Um, but... Wait, what, what, what's wrong with the Cobalt Star? What, what's going on here? I mean, there's sort of been like little hints at the at some sort of mysterious evil here, but what's going? Whoa! It's Baby Bowser. Of course, he just come on now. Yeah, you forgot he was actually in the mothership. You forgot about that because of uh, I guess that's like the significance of going there. But unfortunately, he foolishly combines the rest of the Cobalt Star Shard. Princess Peach screams like a girl because she is a girl. Well, that that's like that's fine, right? It's the Cobalt Star Shard. We should be fine. Now, now it's your turn, Sis sister. What? 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 Well, Princess Shroob is dead, but what was she talking about, sister there? What's going on here? It's a Cobalt Star. The Cobalt Star Shard's good, right? It's what it happens in every Mario game. You get all the stars and good stuff happens. It's good stuff. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, oh, they just killed B Bowser's dead. Oh my god, Bowser's dead. Oh boy, this is serious. Um, So yeah, in the end, of course, epic plot twist. Everything was a lie. The Cobalt Star was not actually on her side. It actually had Princess Shroob's sister in it. The elder Princess Shroob, the real ruler of the Princess Shroobs, and we just set her free. That's right, it's one of those cases of the heroes doing good thing, or having good intentions, and ending up screwing over the world. Unfortunately, it's kind of what happens to Kirby a lot if you think about it, though. Like Kirby's Weep Squad. Hey, let's get a treasure chest. Oh my god, we at least ultimate evil in the world. Or the stuff of the uh, Star Rod. Hey, let's go to the Final Dreams. Oh my god, we just unleash ultimate evil in the world. And here, hey, let's go to the Cobalt Star Shards. Oh, we just unleashed ultimate evil on the world. I don't know. Why don't you just keep breaking the crystal more? You had this entire time, Prince Speech. You could have thrown it down that little, like, pit giant energy pit that's right there by your room. You could have just done that. It would have been perfectly fine. But this is Lucky7DX signing out. Next episode, we fight Princess Shroob.